Only on Local 12 News, counties that are struggling to find enough poll workers are forced to think outside the box to make sure our elections are fair and safe. Local 12's Christian Hauser shows us what's being done to make sure there are enough people at the polls on Election Day. Hamilton County is struggling to find enough people to work Election Day. So the county is offering incentives to entice county workers to sign up, and it's not the only county forced to do so. Things are going well now at the Hamilton County Board of Elections, but it's actual election day they're worried about. There's a critically low number of poll workers right now. It's our civic duty. Uh, we all love election day. We're going to have two of them this year, uh, and so we're going to need even more folks to serve at the polls. And so uh, the Board of Elections is really scrambling this year, and so we're just trying to do our part and help out. During its meeting, the county commission adopted a new incentive to entice employees to be poll workers. It previously announced workers could get the day off from their county job to be election workers. They'll still get paid for their county wage for that day, on top of the stipend for being a poll worker. Now the county's up the ante by adding an extra personal day off this year for each election day worked. There's a second primary that'll also need staffing due to the redistricting commission not passing a constitutionally fair map. The decision to have two primaries is an awful decision. It has been made. The first primary is May the 3rd. Uh, the second one we're thinking is in August. And we have know just historically we've had trouble um, getting people to work the polls. Several other local counties are also offering incentives to get their employees to work on Election Day. And with another primary and the general election, this type of policy may be the only way to get enough workers to staff the polls. In Norwood, Chris 12 News. There are also several statewide initiatives to get more poll workers. Attorneys can earn continuing education credits for working Election Day through Lawyers for Liberty. Social workers also receive education credits, and youth at the booth will pay high school seniors $100 or more for working on Election Day.